Hi, today we are going to solve another lead code problem that is number of laser beams in the bank. So let's just go through the problem statement first. In the problem statement we have been given the floor map of the bank. right? So this matrix what it actually represents is the floor map. The red triangles that you are seeing here they are the security devices and the laser beams will exist between them. Now for the beams to form between these devices, there are certain conditions that are mentioned in the problem. First condition is two devices should not be on the same row. Second condition is for the beam to exist between two devices, there should not be any row in between which contains another security device. For example, these two devices can have a beam in between them because there is no device in between. But a beam like this cannot exist because there is a row in between which contains other devices. Now to solve this problem we have to find two consecutive rows where devices exist. So the first two consecutive rows are these two. In first row we have three devices. In second row we have two devices. And total number of beams will be equal to multiplication of devices in these two rows that is 6. Now we will check for another consecutive rows where devices exist that will be these two. Here in first row we have two devices. In second row we have one device. So the total number of beams between these two consecutive rows will be multiplication of devices that is two. To solve this problem we will use two pointer approach. Our first pointer will be previous and second pointer will be current. For previous we will do some pre-computation evaluate how many ones are present in the first row and that will be 3. Now second row will be our current row and we will evaluate how many ones are there. So since there are 0 we won't be doing anything. So the state after the first iteration for the second row will be like this. Previous counter is 0, current counter is 0 and answer is 0. And since the current value is 0, we don't need to do anything. Because there are no devices in this row and no beams will be formed. Now third row will become the current row and we will calculate how many ones are there and that will be 2. And since it is a non-zero value, we will do some computation. For third row, we have previous as 3, current value as 2. And in this case, our answer will become answer plus is equals to previous counter multiplied by current counter that will be 0 plus 3 multiplied by 2 that is 6 and since our current is a non-zero value for the fourth row this current value will become the previous value for the next iteration now for fourth row this one will become our previous value and this will become our current row and we will calculate how many ones are there in the fourth row and that will be 1. And since it is a non-zero value, we will do some computation. So the previous value is 2, current value is 1 and now we will calculate the answer. So answer will be equal to answer plus previous multiply by current. So that will be 6 plus 2 multiply by 1 that is 8. So this is the final number of beams that will be formed. Now let's move to the coding section. For this we will be using two pointer approach right. So the first pointer will be previous and second one will be current. As I mentioned earlier here right for the previous one we have to do some pre computation for the first row. So that will be like this we have to count how many ones are present there in the first row. So we will calculate that and store it in the previous counter value. Now from here we will initialize answer to be 0 because until now we have found only one row and with one row there will not be any beams formed. So from second row onwards we will try to find any row where we have devices. To do that we will use the current pointer. We will iterate over each of the row and see if the current value is 0 or non-zero. Basically current represents the number of devices in that particular row. We only have to do anything when we find that there are devices present in that particular row. If there are no devices then we have to simply ignore it. But if there are devices present in that particular row then what we have to do 
is we have to increase the answer and answer will be multiplication of devices present in these two consecutive rows once we have incremented our answer for the next iteration we have to make current to be previous for the next iteration and for the next iteration current will become zero so we will keep on repeating this process which will result in giving us our final answer let's try to run this solution on the lead code it is giving us the expected answer so this is how we will solve this problem do like share and subscribe to this youtube channel for more upcoming content